Okay, in this video we're going to look at an application of Abel's theorem to solve the following problem. So given that y1 equals e to the 2x is a solution to this differential equation, 3x minus 1 y double prime minus 3x plus 2 y prime minus 6x minus 8 y equals 0, find another solution. And let's see what we're going to use from Abel's theorem. So we're going to use the fact that if we have a differential equation of this form, y double prime plus p of x y prime plus q of x y equals zero, on an interval where the functions p and q are continuous, then the Ronskian is equal to the following. So in other words, by definition, it's given by a determinant of a matrix red column wise by y1, y1 prime, y2, y2 prime, and then it's also given by um, this exponential or of this negative antiderivative of the function p. Great, and I should say where y1 and y2 are solutions to this differential equation. So notice our differential equation is not quite in the right form yet, so that's be, that will be the first thing that we do. So we have y double prime minus 3x plus 2 over 3x minus 1 y prime minus 6x minus 8 over 3x minus 1 times y equals 0. And now notice, no longer are p and q continuous everywhere, but notice they are continuous in this region. x is bigger than one third, which is the one that we're interested in. Okay. Good. Now one uh, more thing that we're going to do is we're going to simplify this function and we'll do that by the following. So here we'll notice that 3x plus 2 over 3x minus 1 equals 3x minus 1 over 3x minus 1 plus 3 over 3x minus 1. So that obviously just comes from the very simple fact that 3 minus 1 is 2. But that allows us to write this as 1 plus 3 over 3x minus 1. Good. And now our differential equation is as follows. So we have y double prime minus 1 plus 3 over 3x plus 1 y prime uh, minus 3x minus 8 over 3x minus 1 y equals 0. You might ask why we went through all that trouble for the function p but not the function q and it has to do with the fact that at some point we're going to take the antiderivative of that function p and this is going to help us do that. So now here's the idea as we move on. So the idea is we will set the definition of the Ronskian equal to the result from Abel's theorem, which gives us the Ronskian in terms of this function p, and that will give us, give us a first order linear differential equation, which we can solve for the second solution to this differential equation. Okay, so let's do that. So we have the definition of the Ronskian is in terms of this determinant. So we have y1 e to the 2x, 2e to the 2x, which is y1 prime, so that's red column wise. And then next we have y2, y2 prime, but we don't know what the second solution is, so we'll just write that as y, y prime, so it's an undetermined second solution. Okay, good. So that's what we have, and then on this side we have the exponential of the negative antiderivative of this function p. So notice this function p has a minus sign built into it so that will cancel with this minus sign and give us the antiderivative of 1 plus 3 over 3x plus 1 um, dx. Good. And then finally on this side of the equation we can take that determinant which will give us e to the 2x y prime minus 2e to the 2x y. 
Okay, I'll clean up the board and then we'll start from this step. Okay, so now we're ready to pick back up with the solution. So we have e to the 2xy prime minus 2e to the 2xy equals the exponential of the antiderivative of 1 plus 3 over 3x minus 1. So I think in the very last step I had written 3x plus 1, but I hadn't made any arithmetic mistakes, so everything still stands. Now let's take that antiderivative. So that's going to give us the exponential of x plus the natural log of 3x minus 1. So we can check that that works. Notice taking the derivative of that natural log will give us 1 over 3x minus 1 times the derivative of the inside using the chain rule, which will give us a 3 in the numerator. So we're good to go on that. And so now we can write this as e to the x times e to the natural log of 3x minus 1, which is going to give us 3x minus 1 times e to the x. Good. So in other words, the differential equation that we need to solve is given by this. So we have uh, this side, e to the 2xy prime minus 2e to the 2xy equals this side, which is 3x minus 1 e to the x. So I'll clean up the board um, one more time and then we'll finish this off. Okay, now we're ready to finish this off. So um, what we can do from here is put this in a standard form for a first order linear differential equation. In other words, divide by e to the 2x. So that will give us y prime minus 2y equals e to the 3x minus 1 e to the minus x. Good. And now we know uh, the form of a solution here. So uh, let's recall these following parts. So we'll set a equal to this function minus 2, b equal to the right hand side of the equation, 3x minus 1 e to the minus x, and then alpha will be equal to the exponential of the antiderivative of a of x dx, which in this case will be e to the minus 2x. Good. And using all of these parts, and the theory of first order linear differential equations, we can write down the solution. So here we have y equals 1 over alpha, so that will be e to the 2x. So I'll let you guys look up a video on the theory of first order differential equations in order to look for this. I have several on the channel. So we have e to the 2x times the quantity, the antiderivative of alpha of x times b, so that will give us 3x minus 1 times e to the negative 3x. Good. So that will be alpha x times b. Um, and then dx plus a constant. So now I'm going to convince you that you don't need this constant, and that's because, notice, adding this constant value of e to the 2x on is adding just a multiple of the original solution, but we know that the original solution is already a solution, so that, in fact, will not give us any new information. Okay. Good. So now from here, we can take the antiderivative of 3x minus 1 times e to the minus 3x uh, using integration by parts. So I'll in fact use tabular integration. So I'll make a table. 3x minus 1 on this side, e to the minus 3x on this side. I'll take derivatives down one side and I'll take antiderivatives down another side. So on the left side I'll take derivatives. So here we'll have this is 3 and then 0. Now antiderivatives, so that's minus 1 third e to the minus 3x and now I have minus 1 over 9 e to the minus 3x and that should be positive. Good. And now I match these up and alternate the sign. And so uh, let's see what we get. So this minus sign will go out front. So here we have this is equal to minus one third 3x minus 1 e to the minus 3x. Good. And then here that's going to be minus 
3 times 1 over 9, so that will be minus 1 over 3 e to the minus 3x. Okay. Good, and now notice that here we have minus one-third times one is positive one, and then we have a negative one-third, um, so that's going to give us the final answer is negative x e to the minus three x. And that's the end of this example.